So now we're going to move on. We've looked at the point charge, and again, here it is in 3D vector form. And again, I'm using this 3D applet, and the link will be in the YouTube video and on Blackboard. We've looked at a charged line and saw how it had some cylinder type symmetry when we looked at those field lines. Now what we want to do is we want to look at a plane. So we're going to start with a charged plane where the plane doesn't fill up the entire area. Again, these arrows are pointing towards it, so that means it's a negative charge distribution. If I were to reverse that, that shows me a positive charge distribution. So in this case, the charge is spread out over that whole plane, and I can take a look at the way the field lines go around it. Now if I sort of stop it here, again, I can do some slicing. And I see that from this side, it looks like they go straight up and down past it. But if I take a look from a different side, what I see is that towards the edges, it starts curving out. And this is very much like what we saw with our finite line. If I don't make it a charge plate but an infinite plane, meaning it goes out in every direction, then I'm able to see I keep a perfect symmetry. Now again, this one has them pointing towards it, so that's a negative charge distribution. If I have a positive charge distribution, it would point away. The charge is spread out over this entire plane, and by infinite, what they really mean is the charged plane sticks out way further than the area that I'm interested in looking at the field on. We can't actually have an infinite plane, but as long as we're no near, nowhere near those edges where it sort of started to curve out, we can approximate it just like it's an infinite plane, and the electric field points directly away from it at all points. I also want you to notice that it has the same field strength everywhere, and it's down below and above, and it keeps that arrow in the same direction with the same strength everywhere. But on one side of the plane, it points upwards away, and on the other one, it's away but downwards. So this is what our field looks like for an infinite plane of charge. Very, very symmetric, and we're going to use that when we do Gauss's law.